Hey, what's up? Let's take a look at my InMotion V11 electric unicycle today. I've got a few things to do. I've got these uh, power pads, I believe they call them, to, to mount up so I can secure my foot on the unit better when I uh, jump over like a pothole or curb or something. Because right now, if my hand is my foot and I bounce off like a curb or like a decent pothole or something, just something where there's like a drop and a good rebound, my feet get like launched up and I feel like I kind of leave the pad a little bit and it's pretty sketchy. So hopefully this will help. But before I get started, I want to adjust my negative chamber for my air suspension in here. See how there's like a little nub? I already took the cap off of that. There's a cap right there. Uh, they give you this little valve extender. You're supposed to screw it on, but it's pretty difficult to use. So I can get it, I can get it on there, but this is fairly firm. I guess I could flex it out of the way. Whoops. I don't like that. I'm gonna kind of take this panel off just to see if it's easier to work on. There's two Allen screws right here. There's one in the front, and I presume there's one in the back too. Yep, there's one in the back here. And this whole panel should come off, and then that would give me easy access to the negative air chamber on my air suspension. Let's do that. These two are three millimeter Allen screws. Do the front screw right here, back screw. Now oh, these are super tight. Once the four screws are off, this just slides right out. Look at that. Now you have unfettered access to the top valve right here. Take the in motion pump that they supply, screw this thing in. I've been riding on this probably on zero PSI, just however it came. Eh, it's a bit bouncy on the rebound. This should make it a little bit better. I'm gonna pump this up to 30 PSI as, uh, as a few things I've researched online just to try it out, but I can always come back and change it. All right, I guess I'm gonna do 60 because it didn't take much to get it up there. So I'll just leave it there. I'll try it out, it doesn't hurt. Now I'm gonna tip my wheel over here and remove the bottom cover. I'm gonna get this up to about 120 PSI because I'm about 190 pounds. Oh, it's already at 120 pounds. All right, cool. Put this cap back on. Double check the other side since I have this out anyways. All right, looks good. While I'm here, I also want to check the tire pressure itself. So you're going to have to spin the wheel around a little bit to find the valve stem. There is the valve stem right there. Looks like a good time to get it while it's over here. Um, it is an angled stem. Maybe that's where this uh, extendo thing comes in handy. Oh yeah. The valve extender definitely helps here. See how there's like a bunch of play here? I think this is a tube tire, so that's why it has some play because it's, it is a tube inside. It's not like a radial tire where it's just firmly mounted to the, the rim here. I'm gonna pump this up. I'm gonna put 40 PSI into this. And I feel like I have 20 PSI in it. This isn't the best pump for this. I don't have my compressor handy, so I'm just gonna use this. Oh man, this pump. I kind of want to get my compressor, but I'm already so far in. All right, I think I'm happy with where this is. Uh, come on, this will focus on it. Well, you can't see it, but it's just a shy under 50. So that should roughly be about 40, just because it's a smidge below 50 here. Uh, I'm going to take this out. This rod definitely helps with this part, so don't throw this away or lose it. It comes with the valve stem tool, too. Put my cap back in. Put the uh, negative chamber caps back on. I think these are not directional and they fit on both sides. Just slide the little tabs back over the rail. That looks correct. Put your screws back in. These top screws for the pads in. 
turn it on so it's easier to access the rear holes without me having to balance it. There it is. It's as simple as that to adjust the air suspension on your InMotion V11. And also uh, adjusting the tire pressure didn't seem so bad either. And because of the angled valve stem and that it's a tube tire, it has some place so it's easy to actually access and inflate your tire if you need to. It's pretty good. Now what did that actually do? I'm gonna see if I feel any difference with some pressure in the negative chamber. Oh yeah, there's definitely a difference. Uh, with 40 PSI in the negative chamber versus zero, the rebound is definitely not as harsh. Can't wait to try this out in a little bit then. In my prior learning to ride video, the first one, uh, I mentioned I had difficulty kind of taking off on this when, whenever I just stood on it without a wall or a pole for assistance. Um, over time now, I have gotten used to it, but pushing my leg forward so my shin was in the middle of the pivot point definitely helped me learn how to take off with the little push or whatever, just without any additional assistance. What I've noticed since is if I position my shin right here, so my foot is kind of like this, as shown, this is actually too far forward and I don't get as much braking power because obviously now I'm too far forward on the pad and I have less on the back. It would I need to lean back way more aggressive to, to have some more effective braking. Since I started like this, right in the middle with my shin, I got the hang of uh, taking off without any assistance. Now I'm able to do it with my foot in my original position like this. So that's a pretty good improvement. So this is probably a good tip for you to try out just in the beginning. I still have not learned how to go backwards yet. So that's something I can work on next. Now to the subject of these power pads, they are labeled left and right. This one's the left one. Let me get this. This is the right one. So with the cutout of this tape, it looks like it's intended, see it's like a T-shape, it's kind of like this. It's intended to stick on here somewhere, somewhere like that. And then I want to put my foot, so I want to put where my foot is going to be. Oh geez, it's really difficult to do on camera. All right, so I want to put where my foot wants to be and then kind of slink this down like this. So I'm not going to use their supplied adhesive, at least not right now. I'm going to put my own Velcro on here and put some Velcro here so I have some adjustability to figure out where this actually goes. And then I can decide if I want to permanently affix this to here. So I got to get some Velcro. All right. I just uh, applied my power pads. I'm waiting for a little backing board to help secure this better, but temporarily I've used Velcro down the center and aligned it to where my foot would go and rest on it. So let's try it out. Did both sides. It was actually kind of strange. Um, these pads came with like this white stuff on the back there and I thought it was all adhesive, but there's no adhesive. Hmm. Strange. All right, so first ride here with uh, the power pads. It's a little bit weird. Um, it spaces my legs out a little bit. The, the side surface is a little bit hard. So it's a little bit of pressure on my shin there, on the, or the inner calf, I guess. But take a look here like after changing the negative chamber pressure this ride's pretty nice even like over these bumps this is pretty good uh, i gotta get used to these power pads though definitely another little curb okay ooh, ooh, ooh. I think the suspension not rebounding on me has helped a lot more than the power pads. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of these power pads. I'll find out in a bit. I'll ride it. I'll ride around a little bit more and uh, decide whether or not I want to keep these. Definitely a lot less bouncy over bumps like this. Those used to be a bunch, bunch spookier than that. So I even hit like a weird pothole there. Um, the rebound definitely helped a lot. I'm not sure the power pads are helping me, but I guess any little bit might help. Try to use the pad here, probably on this curb. Oh yeah, 
Okay. Okay, I see where the pad can help me. Ooh. It's really weird getting used to this. I might have to start wearing boots or just really have to get used to it. Um, that, that shifted my whole like foot position and it doesn't feel right anymore. And it's really hard to uh, scoot my foot back under there. it for today I just went for a little ride to try this out I'm not sure I'm a fan of those pads uh, I've seen those um, I forget what they call them but there's like a little ankle nub that might be it for me like that's that's probably my ticket I don't know these weren't these weren't that pleasant hmm. well that's it for now I guess I, I fell I survived it didn't get hurt or anything but I'll try this again with boots but um, so far, I'm not a fan of the power pads. At least not these ones. But just might take some getting used to because I'm used to riding it without. And adjusting the suspension definitely helped. It's a lot less sketchy now. So stay tuned for more. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more unicycle content here. And of course, uh, there's other projects going on like my little truck and my little car here. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.